Hello there and welcome to the K-12 school year 2023 to 2024. I cannot believe that we're already in the 2024 school year. It is so exciting to have you and I cannot wait to meet you really soon. My name is Mrs. Roberts and I'm going to be your homeroom teacher this year at K-12 Private Academy. I wanted to take the time to introduce myself so you could get to know me a little bit better and also um, get to know kind of how to contact me and a little bit more about me before we launch into this school year. I have worked at K-12 in the past. I'm so happy to be back at K-12 after a year doing something else for teaching. Um, it's so wonderful to be back with K-12 Private Academy. So you may recognize me. Um, I used to teach third grade, and this year not only do I get to be your homeroom teacher, but I am also going to be teaching fifth grade English language arts. So if you recognize me, it's great to see you. If you don't, that's okay. I cannot wait to meet you and get to know you this year. So let's learn a little bit more about me. So I, like I, like I said, I will be your homeroom teacher this year. Your homeroom teacher is the person that you go to for anything and everything K-12. So if you have any questions about your classes, if you have any questions about your schedule, if you have any questions about grades or projects, you can reach out to me. Of course, you can also reach out to your Class Connect teachers, but I am your main point person here at school for anything you need, including your learning coaches. So your learning coach will be will be communicating with me quite a bit as well, and we'll have quarterly conferences, we'll talk about how your progress is going, um, and all those great things that keep you on track here at school. So if you're new to K-12, don't worry, you're going to be learning a ton of new things, but at the same time, hopefully I can be a person that you can go to when maybe those things feel a little overwhelming or too new or too difficult to do. You are not alone. I am here to help you as well as everyone else here at K-12. So where in the world do I live? That's one of the fun things about working here at K-12 is that every teacher lives in a different place in the United States. So I live in Portland, Oregon. Um, and Portland, Oregon is located in this red state over here. This is the state of Oregon. Um, we are on the West Coast, so I work on Pacific Standard Time, uh, or also known as West Coast Time. And um, Portland is located kind of right in the corner of what I like to call the chimney of the state of Oregon. Um, I grew up in Portland. I love Portland. It's absolutely beautiful here. Um, this is the Oregon State flag. And then this is a great image of Portland itself. So this is the city looking eastward towards Mount Hood. Portland is known for its river that runs through it, the mountains that surround it, the lakes around, and we even have the ocean, the Pacific Ocean, just a couple hour drive away from Portland proper. So we really have everything you could enjoy and expect here in Oregon and here in Portland. Portland is a really unique place to live, um, and it is absolutely beautiful, especially right now in the summertime. It rains a lot here in Portland, so if rain isn't your thing, maybe don't come to Portland in the winter, but definitely come to Portland in the summer because it's warm, it's sunny, it's beautiful, but we also have really nice cool nights and mornings, so it's a really nice balance, and it definitely gets hot here, but not horribly hot. So I'm going to hide myself to tell you a little bit more about me and so you can see all of this information. So I was born in California. Uh, my whole family is from the California area, Southern California to be specific. But I moved around a lot for my dad's work growing up and I grew up primarily in Portland. Um, when I went to college, I went to college at Gonzaga University, which is located in Spokane, Washington. So Spokane is eastern Washington state. So imagine if you can where Seattle is in Washington. If you go across the state a few hours, you'll find Spokane. It's the largest city in eastern Washington. It's absolutely beautiful over there. It reminds me a lot of Bend, Oregon, if you've ever heard of Bend, Oregon. Um, it's kind of dry, but it we have mountains, we have rivers, we have lakes. Um, and it is really close to Canada and Idaho and Montana. So a lot of camping, a lot of beautiful animal and wildlife. And we just loved Spokane. And I loved it so much that I stayed there after college. I lived in Spokane since college, um, but I moved back to Portland this past year. So we have been here in Portland for about a year. 
for my husband's work. And I'll explain what my husband does here in a second. When I'm not teaching, which is the thing I love to do the most, I love to read, do yoga, bake and try new recipes. I'm kind of known as the baker in my family. I just absolutely love it. Um, I love to walk my dog and travel, um, even if it's just locally to visit our friends. We have a really large groups of, group of friends that we love to see and make sure we spend time with because they're like our family as well. So my family is probably the most important thing in my life. Um, my husband, Trevor, and I met in college all over 10 years ago now. And we were married in July of 2021. So we met in college and we're friends and um, have kind of been together ever since then. And uh, we were supposed to be married in 2020, but um, COVID had other plans. And we knew we wanted to have the wedding of our dreams. So we waited a full year and were able to have the wedding of our dreams with everyone we love there. Um, and it was just a fantastic, such an amazing day. Um, Trevor is an anesthesiologist. So he is a doctor and he is the type of doctor that gives medicine to people while they're in surgery. Um, he helps people go to sleep when they're in surgery so they don't feel anything or remember anything. He takes care of them when they're getting procedures done to make sure that they don't hurt, to make sure that they stay healthy. Um, and he is just fantastic and awesome and so brilliant. And it has been his dream to be a doctor since he was little. And um, he is fulfilling his dreams and it's fantastic to watch him do it. We have one dog, her name is Agnes. Um, we rescued Agnes in 2020 um, and she is a pointer. So we don't really know much about Agnes, her background, where she came from, even her birthday we don't really know. We kind of have guessed when her birthday is, but we do know for a fact that she is a purebred pointer. So she is half German short hair pointer and half English pointer. She's very silly, she's super sweet, and she loves to stop by and say hi in class. So she will definitely be visiting your, our classes from here and there in the next year. My parents, Lori and Tim, live in Portland with us, and I have one big brother, and his name is Spencer, and he lives in Texas with his wife, and her name is Laura. So these are a few pictures of my family and people are important to me. So first and center is my husband, Trevor. Um, and this was our wedding day. It was such an amazing day. We had such a wonderful time. It was just a great weekend all together. Um, and this is my family over here. So my dad, Tim, my mom, Lori, and then my big brother, Spencer. And I love this picture down here because this is such a happy memory. This is the day that Trevor and I were engaged um, a couple years ago in 2019. So Trevor is from the San Francisco area. And my family and I, my brother and my parents and I, were traveling in that area for a wedding. Um, and Trevor wasn't able to come, but we were able to get together with Trevor's parents for a day to say hello. And everyone was acting really funny and weird. And we went to the Golden Gate Bridge, and all of a sudden I turned around, and Trevor's right there. And he surprised me and proposed to me. And we got to celebrate with our both sides of our families, and my parents were there and my big brother. And it was just a really, really special day for us. Um, and a memory I'll never forget. And then over here, I just love this picture. These are my three best friends, um, and they kind of live all over the place, but uh, some of us met in college, and then uh, my best friend Allie and I have been best friends since we were 10 or 11 years old. So um, we all get along really well, and this was from a wedding celebration that we had, and um, they're really important to me. Our friends, like I mentioned, are our family too. So that's just a little bit about me, um, and you'll learn more and more as the year goes on, and hopefully you'll get to even meet some of those important people in my life. Definitely Agnes. She will be stopping by. She likes to be the center of attention. Um, so we'll, le we'll learn more about each other, but I just wanted to introduce myself with a little video and also sh show you and explain to you how you can contact me now that the year has gotten going. So hopefully if you are watching this video, that means that you received my email. Email is probably the best, most reliable way to get a hold of me because I check it all day, every day. It's always open. Um, I do my best to respond to emails within about 24 hours. My email is maroberts at strideprivateacademy.org. Um, and as I explained, my name is Mrs. Roberts. My first name is Mackenzie. Um, if you or your learning coach need to talk over the phone with me about something specific um, that would be better done over the phone rather than email, you can call me on my work phone, which is 571-222-5949. 
And then the other form of communication we, we use here at K-12 is called Skype, and Skype is a free instant messaging app. It's really easy to download. You can use it on computers, on phones, on iPads, um, and we use it all day long here at K-12. The staff do, so it's a great resource that you and your family can download um, to communicate with me as well if you need kind of immediate assistance. And my Skype handle is K-12 Mackenzie Roberts with capital M and a capital R. So I hope that that helps you start to at least get my information um, written down somewhere. So in an emergency or any time that you have a question as the year starts, please don't hesitate to reach out. I am here for you. I'm here to support you. And I'll do my best to get your questions answered. If there's ever a time where I don't know the answer to a question, I will do my best to find it for you. Um, I'll never just leave you hanging. So um, I'm really looking forward to getting to know you, my students, and your families this year. Um, and hopefully we have a fantastic year together. I have no doubt it'll be the best. If you are brand new to K-12, welcome. I'm so excited to show you the ropes and um, show you how incredible K-12 is and what a great choice you made for your school. And if you are just coming back to K-12 for your next year, welcome back. Um, I hope that we have a great year together and I am so excited to get to know all of you in Wolfpack and clubs and our week of welcome. So definitely don't be a stranger. Please, please reach out if you need anything between now and when our sessions begin. If you're in fifth grade, I will see you not only in Wolfpack, but also in our English language arts sessions. So get ready for those. It's going to be really fun. Otherwise, anything you need, Again, please don't hesitate, and I will see you all really soon as we kick off the school year together. Have a great day, everyone, and welcome to K-12. Bye.